All right, so real quick video, getting ready to put the head on. Now I do something that some people maybe don't agree with. I do copper coat, which is this stuff right here. And I'll do copper coat on both sides of both gaskets. So spacer plate gasket underneath here, the tin gasket, and then also this gasket. And um, I usually hang them up to do that. You can see it's a lot cleaner that way and then they don't stick to stuff or you can lay them on wax paper and then they won't stick. Let me show you this other stuff. So that is aviation sealant. And sometimes, not every time, but sometimes... I will also use that on the spacer plate gasket and I'll just go around these areas here just around the outside you know so on and so forth and then brush it on very thinly on the spacer plate gasket then set the spacer plate on both sides um, I don't think it's necessary on the head gasket because this surface is machined it's in very good shape and it's a new head it's in very good shape so that's just my opinion I know a guy that does both. He does a spacer plate, copper coats both, and then also does aviation sealant, like I said, on both. But right now our liners are at 0 .006, and I don't want to put a lot on the head gasket. I don't want to mess up that protrusion measurement. Okay, guys, so normally what I would do is use a gantry crane from the ceiling, but that's not possible because of the way the truck is sitting in the shop because we have that car in the way. We're just using... Um, Harbor Freight engine hoist and if the attitude of the head is you know not right you can put a little bit of paracord or another clamp or something like that and you can pull it up and so when you set it on it'll you know it'll go on evenly it's not really much difference doing it this way as opposed to using an engine hoist it just takes a little more you know kind of wiggling around but the block is all prepped everything's ready to go so we'll be setting it on here shortly